And let's get right into it. Starting off game one, it's going to be interesting to see if Mabel can manage to get these these inroads that I keep talking about. Because as long as uh, as long as Cola manages to just keep them boxed out with the uh, with the long disjoint that is Cloud's Buster Sword, it's going to be very 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 tough to get any percent started. You see it in the in the Doc matchup versus anyone with a sword. Uh, it's just very, very hard for, for Doc to get in, but once Doc gets in, big damage is what comes of it. And we're seeing that already right here. Uh, Mabel looking for that down throw raw bear, uh, but 82% already built up. Cola trying to get back in using that limit, uh, limit break blade beam. Uh, and suddenly we're perfectly even, 82% apiece, only 0.1 difference between them. Cola getting this down throw fair just for some stage positioning, and that Nair off stage is going to make it very hard for Mabel to recover, but actually holding onto that jump, great resource management from Mabel, making it back to stage safely. Cola's looking for these bears at ledge, rolling back to stage to get around it though is Mabel, and the da uh, down B off stage going to take care of him. Cola down a stock already to start off this game. Right now, uh, Mabel currently just holding on to this lead. 40% uh, extra credit already built up uh, in this scenario, the, every single hit, uh, even if like Mabel manages to somehow get another stock before Cola manages to take this, and actually falling out of the, uh, the cross slash before anything too big happens. Looking for this back throw, Mabel going to try and get the stock at ledge. Cola holding on to limit break with the fact that Cola is going to need to use limit break to take this stock from 141% uh, Mabel is kind of insane. Mabel, 64% extra credit on the board against Cola. Looking for this down throw uppy, but Cola gonna punish it? No, actually, not that much. And I think I just heard my co-commentator join me here say, hey, what's up, Skip? Oh, I am feeling awful today, but hey, we're here and it looks like we're <laughs> just in time for a great match. Yeah, this is this is game one of a best of five between these two. Yeah, no, I know they had a little bit of switching around with last night, and uh, so some people thought they were playing both of them playing somebody else. Wow, what a great punish on the uh, attack on the field. They're able to get that one special to get out that stock. Great stuff. <laughs> Yeah, Mabel just <laughs> absolutely demolishing Cola in what I thought would be a much harder matchup for a character like Doc. I thought that Mabel was just going to get completely walled out by by the absolute just barrier that is Cloud's Buster Sword, but just every single time Mabel gets in, it's always like 40 or 50 percent, and Cola's just struggling with an answer. Uh, I mean, it might have to, have to do with something like Cola is quite as active in the online scene as Mabel is, but also the Mabel's built Mabel is just built different. I think it's also could be a factor of matchup and experience because how many docks do you think Koa has played before this moment? Probably a few, but like in terms of how many are the caliber that Mabel's at, it kind of becomes an entirely, entirely different story. Yeah. We're gonna try to get off. Oh, what a beautiful game. Wow. That was insane. Great stuff for Mabel in that game one. Jack resets on Wi Fi? Never heard of him. Great stuff from Mabel. Yeah, that was super good. Oh man, I feel awake now. Holy. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's one way to get woken up. Is that uh, that jab reset F smash on one of the best players in the world? That was looking pretty good for Mabel. So I mean, I don't know if Mabel coming into this matchup with any sort of like, uh, like, oh no, I'm playing against Cole or anything like that, but man, they should not be feeling like that at all because they look very, very strong in that game one. I'm not sure where we're gonna go here in game two. Cola does have a plethora of characters as well. So it's not like Mabel can really just sit pretty and be like, okay, I got game one. Game two should be just fine because who knows what Cola's gonna be bringing up next. Yeah, <laughs> the the depth of Cola's character pool is, is incredibly interesting um and it's it's kind of hard to come out of of that game where like you, you spend the entire time in disadvantage and yeah it looks like we're gonna we're gonna have the snake so actually like being friends with mabel um i can tell you the thing that mabel hates the most and the thing that dr mario hates the most is getting uh is getting camped getting zoned out 
Uh, cause Dr. Mario really like being a slow, heavy character. You know, that doctor's coat adds like 20 pounds compared to Mario's plumber uniform. Mm -hmm. Um, they struggle to zone break. Uh, so if, if Hola decides to just, just chill on the opposite side of platform, or on the opposite side of the stage, excuse me, and start chucking maids, Mabel's going to struggle to get in, because like, yeah, you've got, uh, Mega Vitamin to just keep throwing, but that's 5%, and it's not going to get you anything off of it. And it seems that Cola is very, very much aware of this fact, and is absolutely willing to just kind of ch chill out. <laughs> Right now with that Nair, uh, and see right here, Col uh, Cola taking 63%, but with Snake being as heavy as he is, this is basically still an even game. Mabel trying to get, uh, trying to get more of an inrose, and this could be another jab lock. Never mind, I said this was even, and Mabel immediately made me a, a liar. Getting another jab lock on Wi-Fi into F Smash, and getting that kill of Cola, looking a little bit lost right now. And oh my gosh! <laughs> Boy, yeah, man, hey, Mabel is absolutely pretty awesome. That's kind of one of the things about when you're playing a character that's considered low tier, is you kind of have to figure out the match, you kind of have to work a little bit harder. So Mabel, already ready to, you know, they, they know they have to work with right? Here they are, showing us how it's done. It's one of the better snakes, honestly. I want to point out that one interaction right there, because it shows, it's, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny thing, but it shows so much about how the dynamic of this match is working. And Cole, if I play taking that first stock, with snakes up tilt. But uh Mabel being confident enough to just sit and shield standing in front of Cola is insane. And the down P at ledge. Co Mabel is so confident right here. Mabel Mabel knows exactly what they need to do to just rip this game away from Cola and Cola's looking lost. Absolutely yeah, um... nuts. It's definitely a little bit of a struggle here, but I mean, again, it's like I said before, dude, Mabel, Mabel's really, really good. Mabel's um, crackhead. And Mabel has made a lot of attempts at some brackets lately, so I'm thinking that might have to do a little bit with it, because Cola, like, Cola kind of really only enters when they have, like, these huge prize pools, let's be honest. Like, I don't see Cola enter too often until you know, someone has, like, maybe a couple grand on it. So I think not playing the game, I'm not sure if they're not playing the game, but maybe not being as active in the brackets is start like you know that, that rust is starting to catch up here a little bit um but we will see if cola can get it going i mean cola like you said earlier is one of the best right now it's just a matter of maybe they needed a couple games i'm not gonna rule out reverse brio it's fucking cola excuse me it's cola <laughs> but... uh, that's like that's that's an apt uh that's an apt way to describe this player in general it's, it's fucking cola yeah excuse um, my language but like i just had no other way to to describe but i mean again uh, but we are great. seeing we are seeing the third character swap of this match Cole pulling out the roy we are sticking to ps2 uh and it's going to be interesting to see if maybe this character can get it done because it looked like at the very beginning the snake was starting to get something going and then mabel just said no uh so i wonder if mabel's going to say no to cola's best and brightest here well i mean i think this might actually kind of be the play now i'm kind of about to yeah i mean what can dr mari what's dr mari do dr mari gets in face with a lot of strong moves who love characters in their face Roy, Roy, Roy that, that hilt of the sword is gonna put down a lot of damage, a lot of pressure, a lot of knockback. So it's gonna be interesting to see how maybe the uh the the interesting dynamic that you just brought up with like Roy versus characters that are in your face. Um, that's like Roy's best matchups, like Doctor Mario, regular Mario. Roy uh, loves characters that like fighting in your face. And wow, I thought he might have been dead from that. But Roy getting the or sorry, Cola getting the. Uh, the side beat back to ledge, but it's not gonna matter trying to hop in and getting caught with the up smash out of shield. Mabel is, is not letting letting this uh letting this trio go. Yeah, but Cole's got that forward tilt, could be the start of something here. Let's see if Mabel can find a way to keep this tempo, keep this momentum in their favor. Because right now, man, Cola is on the offense. That's a lot of damage right 55, there. That could be yeah. The, uh, 
the jab combo starter from Roy, and it's not even like Roy has basically nothing that's actually true. It's just Cola being so, so very ridiculously good at reading his opponent and reading momentum of like where they're going to start flying next. So it's, it's really like, I say this a lot, and it's kind of like my catchphrase with a nice jab back air right there. Uh, Cole is definitely Cole is definitely out here, but it's really just jab into imagination. Uh, and Cole was demonstrating that perfectly a minute ago. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, Mabel going for a hard read there. It probably could have got that down be the Dr. Mario Kibito or whatever. And uh, I'm gonna catch something. This is put Roy off stage. You know what? It's hit that 106 right now. Ooh, yeah. Go for a big read that up smash. That's a big damage, yeah. 42, 60%. Man, all oh, 74. Ooh, had the read. He had that read. I uh I, I wanna point out how like how strong Babel's looking even in disadvantage state. Like these these backers out of shield beats, up these out of shield beat, up smashes out of shield. It's always like even if it's not hitting, it's almost always pressure. And it's just like it's showing you just how incredibly smart of a player that uh -oh. Mabel is. Oh, oh, my. oh my! That was a what great read. read. That's big yeah. damage. The rolling oh. read and suddenly we're what? even. Mabel! Oh, 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 that almost looked like the Bezerda death of a goddamn lifetime. Oh, but Cola, oh, oh, oh my goodness, just barely managing to clutch it out with the... <laughs> Yo, Cola got <laughs> that, that footstool to get out of that. That that had to have been like the that, matchiest footstool ever. Yeah, he was, ever. Just, he was just spamming buttons like, let me out, let me out, let me out. I want to be out of here. Let me out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My God, getting out of you that, know what? getting out of that with footstool, run up, jab, back air. That's a, uh, I don't think that's gonna work a second time. Mabel almost had his goddamn number there. Yeah, dude. Oh man, like, I, you know, there's not often that I feel like I can see Cola visibly like, ah, like panic. And that that footstool was definitely it. But you know what? That footstool is all he needed to kind of reel himself back in and then get that jab back air. And, uh, man, that was crazy, dude. Mabel almost went on the most insane run. We, we almost saw the most amazing thing ever. But Cola, Cola's Cola, man. Let's see if Mabel can figure out this Roy in this game four, though, because uh, it could be trouble. Three, yeah, Cola's two, Roy definitely, one, like, putting in work go. there. And it looks like we're going to Smashville, so a much smaller stage. You can, <laughs> you can definitely see uh, why this is Mabel's kind of pick here. Uh, because Smashville, much smaller stage, gives Cola a lot less space because, like, Roy doesn't like zoning you out, so that's not what I'm saying with uh, Roy liking space. But what Roy does like doing is carrying you over long-ass distances uh, using, like, just a, an insane aerial string. And right now, though, Cola keeping Mabel stuck at ledge, not able to get back onto the stage too easily. A lot here. Okay, that was a good down there, but it's gonna send him straight up. I think he's only looking for the spike box, uh, hit box out of that. Just kind of gets oh, maybe. So, like, natural kick is not a good choice right now. It just, it just gives him less room to kind of really get anything going against the whole man. Full up, large, pressy, but look at that. He's gonna go this damage. He's gonna find ways to hit him even faster. Look, Mabel can't get to the ground. Yeah, this is uh. This is looking like Mabel might have made the uh, made the counterpick with the same sort of thought in my mind, like, oh, it's less space for him to carry me across. But uh, this isn't looking good. Cole is just kind of keeping Mabel in check the entire time. There's nowhere, there's nowhere to go where Cole isn't there waiting for you, and that's a terrifying prospect. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I, I like the idea of there's less uh, room for him to carry me around because then it becomes like, okay, there's less room. Now you're off stage again and again. And you're and playing again. a character with a very, very rough recovery. <laughs> so and you, like, that's one thing that you mentioned right now and neither of us have talked about because it doesn't even look like, oh, but the jab, whoa, missing the jab luck, never mind. But uh, the thing that I was going to say is like, Doc has an awful recovery. Doc's recovery sucks. Like, let's right. be straight up. Mabel's making it look like it's half decent. And that's the insane part. Like, Mabel hasn't been gimped yet this entire set. Well, think about, uh, it's, it's, I mean, there's having a bad recovery, and then there's going ways to, like, change it. Making it work. Wow, okay, good. Match that, uh, tornado. Are you gonna get the hit, but not the stock. And man, yeah, definitely Mabel's still struggling here. I don't think this is... 
Okay, still doable. If he could take the stock, he never mind. So, because they would have Dr. Mario with Rage. And I'm kind of, like, I wonder if that this is like a block with the board smash might have, like, uh, kind of done a little mental damage there. Yeah. Gonna get the stock right there. That could be the start of something in this game. 53% of the final stock. That's gonna be a lot of the maximum. Cola has been smothering Mabel in game four. Game three was definitely a huge turnaround. This could be trouble. It's kind of Cola. Cola sat back after game two, like after this was looking like it could have been a 3-0. Cola sat back and go, goes, okay, uh, I'm bringing out the Roy. And this mother, th oh, I almost said it. I almost said it. <laughs> uh, this this person is not going to get the chance to breathe again because, and that's exactly what Cole is doing. Like you mentioned the word smothering. Oh, and oh, oh. good escape from Mabel right there. I'm I'm sure that was that was good di like knowing how to di Roy's uh, aerial side beat. Um, but it's looking like like Cole has just got got and figured out that the the two ways to beat Dr. Mario. Or to either never let them move or never let them touch you. Yeah, it definitely is a pretty solid game plan, but uh, Dr. Mario has a lot of movement on his own. But good backer, okay. Stock here, tried to get that air going, but that up special boy is just, it's, a, it's too accurate, man. It's just it's too much. Looking for this up tilt right here, uh, and at 128%, Cola's definitely got half rage on the board. But the down B from Mabel going to take care of it. 149%, one hit away from Rage. But just the the uh, back air and neutral no setup out of out of shield. Cole is gonna bring us to game five. I can't believe. <laughs> he just he spawned, he sat there, he four tilted one direction, and just it I don't know, it just compelled Mabel to have to want to jump right into that back air from the hill. They're gonna be able to throw that out. We're going to a game five situation. I know Mabel can do this because we just we've seen a couple good comebacks in game two, uh, games three and four. But the problem is like you were just up 2-0, right? You are now being 2-0'd by Cola after the switch to Roy. And there's the uh there's the the factor of, of mental damage there, right? Like there's yeah, it's um just like how how like, do you how do you compose yourself? Oh my yourself god, I was about five? to I was about to win this set. It was about to be mine. I was about to take out Cola 3-0 and mm -hmm. oh. Now we're game five. Uh, shoot, what do I do? And it looks like we're gonna run it back to Smashville. I don't know how much I like this pick from Mabel. Uh, running it back to the same stage. Like that that was Cole's most dominant showing yet. Was that uh, that victory on Smashville. Yeah, so, but Mabel did make a pretty good run back in, in, at the end of game four there. Uh, it's, I wonder if it's kind of like recognizing the tempo that needs to be played and how defensive you need to actually be against Roy on the stage like this. So maybe Mabel has something to figure out. It's definitely a possibility, uh, and, and it is looking much more even than it did at the start of game two, but the whiff grab, gonna get punished with the up out of shield. Response from Mabel is a down B right there. I don't know if that was the the most uh, optimal trade for Mabel. I think Cola definitely came out on top in that in that uh, interaction in the F smash. Wow, Mabel actually living through that fantastic DI, but the ledge trump bear is going to make it very hard to recover. And yeah, Mabel's not making it back on the regrab. The uh, the forward air from Cola going to prevent any any uh, sort of regrab on ledge from Mabel. Looking for the up the out of shield. Going to probably get punished pretty hard. No, air dodging back through the the dock tornado. Yeah, no, Doc can absolutely take out this stock pretty soon without taking too much damage. But okay, Cole is gonna find a way. If there is a will, there is a way. And now Cole is making it happen with 45%, 51% tax credit so far. And dude, Mabel's just struggling to kind of really get anything going here. Mabel looking to get back to stage, but with half rage, Roy. Uh, your stock's going to evaporate in just a second. Mabel needs to take this now before Cola gets another one of those those inroads and looking for the the side B, but actually not getting the follow up. This could be it. Mabel looking for this edge guard off stage, maybe trying to get him with a mega vitamin. Cola now just making it back to stage safely, trying to get back up with the uh, the wake up side B. Mabel, the bear out of shield, going to take the stock, but 111% extra credit for Cola. This isn't looking great. The jump gone. That, that stock, yep. Yeah. Uh, took, took that uh, took that jump, wasn't able to get back to ledge. And Cola, honestly, just playing it smart, playing it safe, uh, not having to do anything super crazy, just getting the damage when they can, not really going for anything like too much. And Mabel's really just been 
by drowning here. It, it's it's quite unfortunate, but I mean, it just goes to show that hey, Cola, like I, it's like I said earlier, man. Cola may drop the first two games, but uh, <laughs> it's also remember the first two games weren't with Roy, so yeah. like it, it was maybe him trying something else different in the matchup and going, okay, uh, that didn't work. Okay, that didn't work. All right, oh, this man, works. Cole let's let's end keep the with game it. Right there, tried to get a hard read into that forward smash. See, Pagan gonna be able to get back to legend, no problem. Man, it's just, this sword has just been too much, man. These, these hitboxes are just absolutely smothering Mabel. Mabel not really able to get any sort of crazy offense. I thought that forward error could have been huge, but unfortunately, again, you, you're fighting against a swordy, man. Half your moves won't matter if you both throw them up at the same time. And Koa's movement mix-ups on Mabel, okay. getting that jab reset, this could be something big if Mabel manages to get a big long string. Uh, but the the thing that you mentioned, yeah. oh, and that F tilt, not gonna matter. That F tilt going to take it. It's it's a it's a move and a half. That's for sure, especially at the sweet spot and especially at 130 percent. Cole is going to close it out with a reverse 3-0. But earlier, a little bit earlier in that game, you mentioned that Mabel was kind of floundering, kind of drowning, right? Mm -hmm. I think that was a really really apt description of how that of how that uh, match was going was that uh, Mabel started off like really strong in the set. And, and then when Cola started to bring it back, started to like shove Mabel deeper into the water, uh, Mabel was literally just kind of flailing around trying to get, trying to get uh, back into the game. And it just wasn't working.